Hi guys, it's Miss Davis here. Today we're going to be solving word problems when we have three add-ins. Now, add-in is just a special word for parts. So we're going to be solving word problems where there are three parts to find our whole. So the first thing we do when we have a word problem, we know that we have to read that word problem. So it says Mark has a candy shop. He has four candy bars, three lollipops, and nine gummy bear boxes. How many pieces of candy does he have all together? Now, I'm going to read it again because we know that we want to read it as many times as we need to fully understand it. It says, Mark has a candy shop. He has four candy bars, three lollipops, and nine gummy bear boxes. How many pieces of candy does he have all together? Now, this time when I read it, I'm going to do cubes. I'm going to circle those important numbers, underline the question, and box in those important words. So, it says, Mark has a candy shop. He has four candy bars, three lollipops, and nine gummy bear boxes. How many pieces of candy does he have all together? Okay, so now, after we do that, we have to write the number of sentence that matches the word problem. So, we know that he has four candy bars plus three lollipops plus nine gummy bear boxes. But this is our mystery. We don't really know this part yet. We don't know how many he has all together. So now we have to draw this. We're going to draw all three parts. So I'm going to draw four circles, then three circles, and then nine circles. Okay, so I have, oops, four circles, three circles, and nine circles. So now, I'm going to circle my 10, just to make it easier. I know that this is 10. So now it would be easier just for me to count it. I know it's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, now... Of course, you can always just count them one by one. You could have said 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That would have worked too. So that means 4 plus 3 plus 9 equals 16. Alright guys, that's it for this video.